Um, so like I said, I decided to jump on the Midori bandwagon. And so I wanted to do a video kind of showing some of the stuff I've been buying for it and some stuff I've made for it and um, some of the different deals that I found. So this is a little charm I tied on the bookmark and I did a review of this charm pack in my previous video. I got it on Amazon. It was a pretty good deal. Uh, the Midori itself is, you know, the original um, Traveler's sketchbook uh, notebook. And I was debating getting maybe one from Etsy that was a faux Dory. Some of them looked really nice, but honestly, with the deal I found for this one on eBay, those, the nice ones on Etsy were going to be a lot more expensive. So I would recommend definitely looking around if you're trying to buy one of these. Um, Amazon's ones were pretty expensive, but on eBay I did find a really good deal and got a brand new Midori. Um, some of the stuff I showed already that I have been getting for it, just um, some washi tapes, uh, the lightweight paper, and I'll show you why I like it. Here's another lightweight paper that I had bought just to try. And here's different stamps in it. This is for just on the first page, so this is not the same paper that's in the rest of the book. And you can see it does go through it, but that's okay. And these are the different inks, Archival, Versafine, and Memento. And this is um, these Sharpie pens. They're really nice. I just got a new pack. Um, they don't bleed through, so you can't see them, but you can definitely see the ink. But the Memento ink is pretty light, so it's not that big of a deal. And this is just um, the Distress Marker. And this paper, this is the lightweight paper. So you get 128 pages and you can see it's pretty light. Um, but this is watercolor paint. Um, and I did it on this side and then I did it on this side and I did use a lot of water. I wasn't shy with the water. And you can see there's, I don't see any of the pink on this side, and I don't see any of the green on this side. And the paper is still fine. It got a little bit more crinkly, which I really don't mind. That's not an issue for me. So for such a lightweight paper, um, you know, the Sharpie marker doesn't show through. And, or not the Sharpie marker, the Sharpie pen doesn't show through. Regular pens don't show through. You can definitely draw on it with pencil, no problem. It's very smooth paper. And you can watercolor in it even. So I'm going to use this when the vacation's over. I'm going to use these um, inserts for my like daily um, sort of notebook, sketchbook, um, idea, like an idea journal. Because I have one right now. Um, and I have, actually I'll show you where to go. <sighs> no, I put it somewhere. I have one right now where I just kind of keep all my ideas and stuff and I bring it everywhere with me. And I have maybe four, four sheets of paper left in that one. So I got this just in time because I needed to get a new one anyways. And I got this and then I got, I used this and I will show you what I used it for. Um, I got these inserts. I haven't put them in yet, but these are little pockets that you can glue to the inside of your Midori. And I got some of these, and then I got these um, travel stickers from Heidi Swap. And these two sheets are just letters and stuff, so I don't think I'm going to take these two sheets with me because I don't want to add to the bulk. But there were other sheets in it, like, I'll show you. So I'm going to take some of them, but not the letter sheets. So, and I'm still debating whether I want to put a charm on here. Because I feel like it would scratch the cover, which I don't mind, but I don't want it scratched in just one place, <laughs> if that makes sense. So this is really nice. You know, I'm, I'm really, I love it. <laughs> I have to say, I love it. And now that I'm on the... Um, bandwagon for the whole nice paper journaling you know stuff I think I'm gonna get the Hobonichi for my birthday 
to keep just at home, not take anywhere with me, just as a daily journal. And then this I will use as my planner, my idea notebook, and um, things of that nature. And this will come everywhere with me. I'll put the planner in it. Right now I already have it set up, but it's set up for our vacation that's in August. So I think I'm going to keep using the notebook that I have, the four pages I have left, and hopefully I'll just use that up by the time we go on vacation. I'll use this on vacation, then when I come back I'll set it up for daily, regular life use. Okay, so I'll show you what I have. This is actually the cover from, uh, from the, those stickers. I ripped it off. And, um, oh. No. See, I ripped it off and I added it here because I kind of felt like I wanted to protect the the craft folder. The craft folder is from, from the Midori brand. And I added a little washi tape here. Um, like I showed you, this, this is this piece. I added washi tape to it. So here is um, the folder inside. And I'm going to keep this empty because this I'm going to just kind of throw in there different you know, maps from different museums we might go to and things like that. I'll just throw them in there um, for the day and then, you know, unload them either in my suitcase or add them to the notebook. This is an insert that I made myself. Um, and I'll show you where it comes out. Here's the other side of it. It's two pockets and two pockets. And I could add the little um, Instax photos here or I here I just have um, different this is from the Smashbook notebooks, actually. I have different things I can just kind of add with washi tape or glue in for vacation. And this is just a little Smashbook pocket. So right now I'm storing them here so I can kind of use them as I go. And the way I made the sensor is I took um, a Bow Bunny, like, 6x9 um, insert. And then I cut it apart to have just the two... Um, the, you see, you can see where it was the hole punch here. And then I just um, taped them together with gaffer tape. See, this is the Seven Gypsies gaffer tape, and I had some of the red left that I used here, and then I had some of this Harlequin pattern. So this is not washi tape, this is not duct tape, this is gaffer tape. It's very strong, people use it to bind books. And it's made out of cloth and it has, you know, it holds things together really well. So I don't think they make that anymore. I mean, I don't think Seven Gypsies is really around anymore at all. Um, but you can buy plain gaffer tape now. Um, I don't think you can buy the nice pattern gaffer tape. I just had some left over. Uh, let me show you something. Sorry. So it's this Bow Bunny Misk Me, and I use these two of these, and I basically cut off this edge, and then I used another one and cut off that edge, and then taped them together in the middle so they fold. And then I'm keeping these pockets. I did not throw them out. I'm keeping them to glow in here and there and add the Instax photos if I want them protected. So actually nothing goes to waste. So that was really easy to set up and do, and I just kind of threw them in here. Um, this is a Cosmo Cricut letter sticker thing, and I am going to bring this one. It has a ton of letters, and it's um, extremely lightweight. It's like nothing, and it fits very well. I cut off the top, so now it fits in there. And I had this stamp set from Kaiser Craft. It's this one. So I went ahead and stamped this for travel in the notebook. This is the blank paper insert that came with the Midori notebook and that's the insert that I'm going to use for to keep track of our vacation. So I haven't done anything with it. Now this is that the piece of the back piece of the folder that I cut apart and I'm going to use it as a as a pencil board. So basically if you're writing, you stick it in there like under the sheet you're writing on, so you don't transfer anything onto the next sheet. 
Um, and I might, with a Sharpie, add lines to help me kind of um, do journaling so I can see through it um, as a journaling guide. So we'll see. I might add that. So that's that. And then I made a washi tape thing again out of the that folder that I cut up. And I hold it down like that. So basically here it is. And here's all the travel ones from Tim Holtz. And right now I'm keeping it like this. Now the next thing that I'm keeping here is I really wanted to be able to bring watercolors with me but I didn't want to carry around a little thing. I wanted to, to always be in the notebook because I know myself and to decrease bulk I would just end up taking it out. So um, I didn't want it to be like a separate little box, even a, a small box like, a, like an Altoid box that probably wouldn't work for me. But I also didn't want to spend all that money on the Pureless watercolors, which are basically swatches on paper, which is what most people use. I didn't want to spend money on that either because they weren't very cheap and I didn't find any good deals. And if I had found a good deal, I probably would have bought it because I like deals, but I didn't. So, so here's what I did instead. These are the watercolors that I put together. And again, I use gaffer tape. And here's how this works. I added the sheet. And this, this piece of um, sheet, it's really nice. And it's from the top part of the cover. And, um, and I added my watercolors. So it's basically flat, but I don't know if you can see. So it's basically, it's got almost no dimension, but it's actually a lot of paint like because of the circles are a certain size it's actually a lot of paint and I'll show you how I did that I took that and I took not the top part but the insert that holds the gears in place and then I just added watercolors to it now if anybody has any questions on how to actually do that because there's like you know so you kind of have to make sure you spread them around properly so that they go all around and they're hugging the sides and they're not coming out um, and they're sticking to it properly. If anybody wants a tutorial on that, let me know and I can definitely do that. So basically when you open it, here's the palette um, to um, the mixing side and then here are the watercolors and here are the colors I chose. These are my artist grade whole bin like professional watercolors. So these are really nice. And it just always comes with me and it's going to stay in the side of the craft folder. And I just hold it in place like that. And the next insert I added to the shorter band. And these are the Bow Bunny craft envelopes. And basically I just added some of these just in case I need one and this just in case I need one. And then here is different watercolor papers that I cut up in case I want to paint something and then add it to like uh, to my notebook with washi tape or something. And then on this side of the envelope is um, all different sorts of stickers. And those pockets that I told you about, like this is the leftover piece from when I made the other insert. This is what it looks like. So you can slip a photo in here or something else and just glue it in and there you have it. So I have all sorts of like little envelopes in there, little stickers, like travel stuff, like all sorts of um, different things. I don't want to take it all out now. I mean, if anybody really wants to see what I have in there, like let me know and I can do that. But um, And again, it's held with gaffer tape, super easy and quick. Um, and that's it. So if anybody has any questions, or anybody wants me to do a tutorial on the watercolors, let me know and I can show you how I did it, um, you know, if, if you're interested. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.